As we continue to kind of sort out the whole world of artificial intelligence and all of the wonderful things that comes along with it, one of the things that I haven't focused on a whole lot yet because my knowledge level is just not there is privacy and security. So I do trainings all the time with districts and I tell them about all of these wonderful tools, but one thing that maybe I need to do a better job of in the future is to consider privacy and what kind of information these tools are collecting. Common Sense Media is a fantastic website. They do a lot of things for educators. It's for educators, keeping you all in mind of evaluating ed tech tools and trying to let you know what all is out there and what is safe and good to use. And now they are starting to look at artificial intelligence tools and they're actually giving these tools a privacy rating. So here on the left hand side, we've got their rating for Magic School. They received a 93% rating which is a passing grade that's a fantastic rating especially when you look on the other side of the screen where we're looking at chat gpt who received a 48 percent a warning and they've got it broken down by categories so what kind of data collection does magic school collect and they got an 83 percent on this collection or use of data is limited to product requirements whereas on chat gpt you're going to see this as a kind of a reoccurring theme with chat gpt that a lot of it is unclear they haven't really explicitly stated what kind of data they're collecting and how they share it. And they break it down by data rights, data safety, is your data sold, the parental consent. So this is kind of a big one if you're gonna use artificial intelligence tools with students. It's intended for children under 13. They have specific practices and policies in place that make it safe for children to use these tools, even if they're under 13 years of age. And there's not many AI tools out there that I found that are safe in that regard. If we look at chat GPTs, for example, parental consent, it's not intended for children under 13. Their score is 40%. So you might hesitate a little bit in not only sharing these tools with students, but encouraging them to use them because the data that they collect and the security is very much in question. You can also do a search. They don't have every single AI tool on here now, but they are going through and doing evaluations. So I will provide a link to Common Sense Media somewhere along with the video, either in the comments or down below somewhere, so that you can go over to this website if you do have a website that you wanna check and see if it is secure and private and safe to use with students, you can do so. I'm gonna be monitoring this situation and I'm gonna keep a mindset moving forward of trying to find good tools and sharing those with folks that do have privacy and security in mind as regard to not only teachers, but students as well. Hope you all are having a fantastic week. As always, happy ed teching.